Stephen Cordano right here with the great Raul Marquez. Oh, I remember uh, you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, New York. We yes, were at, uh, yes, in New sir. York yeah, for Javante. Yeah, um, man, just you brought that up, right? So let's kind of just jump into that real quick. Right. Javante Davis looked spectacular against Roley. Obviously, oh. everyone's talking about, uh, you know, Ryan next. Yes. Ryan looked pretty good, too, yes, against Fortuna. Yes, he did. Um, man, how, how does the speed work out b between those guys? Because they're both very fast switch guys well they're both they both got the speed you know they both have the smarts but i just believe that tank davis got has more of the championship rounds you know he's been in there with better caliber fighters we saw what he did with roley you thought roley was not roley was in the fight he was in the fight and and just all of a sudden you know uh tank knew when to land that big big shot you know he and and, and it's over you know people could say hey look roley was in the fight he was in it, he could have maybe won, but at the end of the day, it was Tank that connected with one shot and that ended it. So, move forward, you know, and that's, that shows you what kind of fighter he is. Uh, he took his time, he knew when to throw that, he set him up good, he set him up good. He knew when to land that, that lead, uh, left hand, was it left hand? Yeah, was it left, uh, uh, left hand? Yeah, left hand, and, uh, and he put him out. All it took was one punch, and, but, you know, Ryan Garcia's got the speed, he's a good looking kid. He's very charismatic. He's got followers. He's marketable. And uh, I followed him in the amateurs, too, uh, and I always knew he was going to be somebody, and he is. He's doing great, but uh, I, I got to go with some. I got to go with Tank in that fight. Yeah. Uh, man, a fight, uh, you know, I know you're just talking about a lot of people are asking you about Spence yeah. versus Crawford. Uh, I specifically want to ask you, though, being a Southpaw, right? You know, the, the obviously Earl's a southpaw. Terrence can do both pretty pretty easily. He goes southpaw a lot when, you know, especially if things don't, aren't going as well right-handed. Right. Being a southpaw, what are, you know, the, between right-handed and left-handed, the foot battle's yeah. there, right? It's Is there any tricks uh, with the southpaw that you got to kind of, like, when you're fighting us, facing a southpaw that you need to kind of be aware of? Well, I mean, when, you, when you're a southpaw, when you turn aside, it disrupts the other guy's rhythm, you know, because you turn southpaw. And it's very important that, of course, that you, the foot position in. But also, some, some right-handed fighters, they move to the other way to try to make the left-handed guy try to lead with his power hand and miss and then counter over the top. You know, I know Trinidad told me that. Like, Trinidad, he said that he would move into the, a southpaw's power hand to try to bait him in, make him throw the left hand, make a miss, go under, or make a miss or lean back, and then try to counter with his own right hand. So that kind of makes sense too, you know. I've all, I, me as a left-hander, I was always taught to move to, to my right as a left-hander. But going back to your question, you, you're asking me if, it, if you know, Southpaw yeah. and so, Southpaw and Southpaw, I, I think when you, two Southpaws are fighting each other, uh, one Southpaw's gotta make the fight. He's, you gotta be first. Whoever's, a, whoever's gonna decide you gotta be first with the jab or dictate the pace of the fight, that's the guy that's gonna win the fight. That's the way I see it. That's very interesting. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. Man, last one. I want to get your take on the heavyweights. Uh, Usyk solidified himself, you know, uh, uh, right. a th three belt champion defending yeah. against uh, Anthony Joshua. Uh, you know, Fury did not relinquish the WBC right. yesterday, so he's still champ. It looks like that's where we're going. Who is the best heavyweight in the world right now, and, and how does Usyk Fury play out, do you think? I think uh, I think Usyk, uh, he didn't surprise me when he beat Joshua, because I picked him to beat uh, Joshua. I just, I, I think he's got his game. You know, he knows how to beat him. He knows how to beat him. He beat him the first time, beat him again. And I believe that if uh, him and Tyson Fury fought, uh, you know, the, if you're asking me who the best heavyweight is, Tyson Fury. No more questions asked, that's it. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? If Tyson doesn't come back, Tyson Fury doesn't come back, U Usyk, you know, he's got all the, the tools to claim that spot because he's, he's a hell of a fighter too. Definitely. Well, yeah. thank you so much for your hey, time, thank man. You, man. Appreciate you. Thank yes, you very sir. much. Thank you.